I need your help, Houdat Nation. At Saints Now by Chat Sports, we just recently crossed over 28,000 subscribers. So I want to say thank you so much. But here at Chat Sports, I am a competitor, and the Browns Report is the next channel we can pass. And we got a lot of work to do, but I know you at home can help me make it happen. So subscribe today and let's go catch the Browns Report. I'm just going to say it right now. If you didn't subscribe to go and catch the Browns Report, you should subscribe for those brand new intro videos because those are so fresh. But welcome into Saints Now by Chat Sports. My name is Trace Gerard, and in today's video, we're going to be taking an updated look at the New Orleans Saints depth chart because recently they've added some players. They let some players go after minicamp and OTAs, and it's been a while since we've taken a look at the updated depth chart for New Orleans. So let's start off with the quarterback. No mysteries here, not really many changes. Derek Carr, Jake Hayner, Spencer Rattler, there's your QB one, two, and three. Kellen Mond was with the team for rookie minicamp, and he did do a tryout but was not invited back. Nathan Peterman is on the roster, and I expect him to be the practice squad quarterback. Now for the running backs, you got Alvin Kamara, Jamal Williams, and Kendra Miller, and I do believe the Saints are only going to carry three running backs. But I also could see them keeping Xander Horvath or Adam Prentice. Personally, I like Xander Horvath a little bit more because I think he's a better fit for what Clint Kubiak's offense will be trying to do. But I like Jordan Mims. I like James Robinson. And I think Jacob Cabote has done a good job at Saints OTAs and minicamp to make a name for himself. And to be quite honest, I'm super excited for this rushing attack because Clint Kubiak's offense is going to be grounded. And I think that if we can get the offensive rushing game going, we can get everything else going as well. If there is success on the ground, there will be success in the air. And I also believe there will be success on the defensive side of the ball. So I'm super pumped up to see what Alvin Kamara, Jamal Williams, and Kendra Miller specifically can do this year. But I'm also pumped up to see what they can do with the fullback position with Taysom Hill and with either Adam Prentice or Xander Horvath. So I think it's going to be a really fun year. And I think it's going to be a better year in terms of the Saints rushing game. Now the wide receivers, I think it's going to be a really good unit. I think that year two for A.T. Perry could be a big time breakout year. And I actually have a video coming out about that in tomorrow, uh, tomorrow afternoon around 4 p.m. Central time. Rashid Shahid, I, he's one of my favorite players on this roster. Chris Olave, bona fide wide receiver run. A 1,000-yard player through and through. He is so damn good. I really like Bub Means. I think he has an interesting size profile. I think Mason Tipton could offer some returnability. So could Jermaine Jackson. But I do expect Cedric Wilson, Equinemius St. Brown, Bub Means, and then the guys you see up top to be the wide receivers the Saints carry. Now, the tight end depth chart did get a new addition in Jesper Horstead, the former Raider. He joins the New Orleans Saints group, which is kind of... Not loaded, I'm going to say, in terms of a ton of talent, but it's a good unit. I think Juwan Johnson gets a lot of hate. That's unwarranted. He's a really good football player, and to be honest, if he can just stay on the field, I think that he, he could have a big year this season. He is dealing with an injury, so that is worth noting, but Foster Morrow is going to have uh, a bigger role in the Saints' offense this year. Taysom Hill will just have a massive role. We already know that. But I'm really, really excited specifically about Dallin Holker, and I think that he has a big year coming. And I think that it's very telling when the New Orleans Saints are bringing in a UDFA in Dallin Holker and having him work a lot with the first team and, and a good amount with the second team as well at minicamp and OTAs. And I think that he's going to be a really good schematic fit for New Orleans at six foot three, 241 pounds. The guy's got 33-inch arms. I mean, it's unbelievable what this kid can do. And I think that the Saints are going to run a lot of two tight end sets. So having Holker be one of those guys is a very, very smart move for New Orleans. And in 2023 for uh, Colorado State last year, 105 targets, 64 receptions, 767 yards, and he had six touchdowns. I mean, this is going to be a really exciting player, and I'm super pumped up to see what he can do in this Saints offense. And plus, I'm ready to see that flow just, you know, flying when he's going down the sideline go. Uh, going for another set of six. So really quick question for you, Saints fan. Who's going to lead the tight ends in receiving yards? Is it going to be Juwan Johnson or is it going to be Dallin Holker? I want you to type their initials in the comment section and I'm going to be replying to a lot of you. And so share your thoughts, explain why, and let's have a conversation in the comment section. The offensive line is very, very important. 
and games are won and lost in the trenches. Now, Trevor Penning, he's been working on the right side of the offensive line, and Talese Fuwanga has been working a lot on the left side. But I do believe that Nick Saldaveri is going to be the starting left guard. Cesar Ruiz has slimmed down quite a bit. He's a more athletic guard, so I think he's going to actually work out in this new offense. Eric McCoy, who's a pro bowler, and he's a really good player. So depending on how things shake out in terms of the backups, I think that this is a unit that actually could be more improved than last year. And to be honest, I think that the offensive scheme, just the changes that the new offense is bringing alone will show the offensive line is improved. And if it's not at least going to be improved, I think it will mask it better because it's going to be grounded. It's going to be quick. The offense is going to have multi or Derek Carr is going to have multiple options to throw the ball. He's going to have different reads based on what the defense has given him. So I think that the offensive line will put up better production with this new scheme that Clint Kubiak is bringing. Now let's kick it over to the defensive side because I'm excited for this defensive line group. Chase Young, there's been some pictures that have surfaced of him that the Saints posted. I also posted on my social media account, so give me a follow. He's looking big, dude. He looks good. I'm excited to see him rep the black and gold, but we do have a change here. Nathan Latou, the defensive end out of Oklahoma State. He was an undrafted free agent brought in to the Saints. He is no longer with this group. Interesting to note, though, they kept Trajan Jeffcoat, who actually kind of got into a little bit of a scrum at uh, minicamp last week, so Pretty interesting to see that they like the Arkansas Razorback right there. Woo pig. And I got to say, I'm super pumped up for the pairing of Brian Brzee and Christian Boyd. Now, the Saints linebacker group, to be honest, I think it's a good group, but there's a lot that rides on how Pete Werner plays, how Willie Gay is going to fit into the group. And I do believe that Willie Gay is one of the most underrated free agency additions that the Saints made and that, honestly, any team really made because he's going to bring a lot of athleticism and he's going to offer a lot of help that Zach Bond, quite frankly, was not able to give you. And we all know Demario Davis is one of the best linebackers in the National Football League. But did you know that he has had seven straight seasons with 100-plus tackles? So this year he could be going for year eight in a row. I mean, Demario Davis is one of one. So if you are super pumped up to watch Demario Davis absolutely light it up and absolutely tear it up on the field this year, like the video and show him some love in the comments. Now the cornerback group, I mean, guys, this unit is so freaking talented. Paulson Adebo might be the most underrated cornerback in the league. I mean, he gets so overlooked because of Marshawn Lattimore. But don't get it twisted. Adebo is a dog. Alante Taylor in year two as a starter in the slot or slash the nickel role is going to be a really good fit. I think that he's going to be better than he was last year. And I'm excited to see Marshawn Lattimore back with the New Orleans Saints. Hopefully he can stay healthy, but I'm excited to see what Kool-Aid McKinstry does and how he gets rotated in. I think Will Harris has the opportunity to possibly uh, take Ugo Amadi's spot on the roster. So we'll have to see what happens in the backup nickel position battle, but Mac McCain is the most recent addition to the Saints step chart. He was brought in yes, or on uh, Thursday, excuse me, uh, from the uh, Eagles, signed to the team, so interesting to see him and see if he will make the roster. Now, the Saints safety group, I'm just going to say this right now, it's talented. I love Tyron Matthew. I am so pumped up for year two of Jordan Howden. I mean, this kid showed so much pop so much promise, and so much grittiness in his rookie season. JT Gray, I mean, our special team's ace, there's nothing stopping him from dominating again on the special team side of the ball. Millard Bradford, I actually think, has an opportunity to make the roster. At TCU, they called him Nuke, and it's because he was blowing up plays every damn game. Now, Jonathan Abram, he is the backup for Tyron Matthew. And Roderick Teamer, he comes back to the city of New Orleans where he grew up. And he is back in the state of Louisiana. He is one of the most recent additions to the Saints step chart as well. Now, I will say this in terms of the defensive back group. New Orleans has a top three group. There is no question about it. And if you disagree, argue with a brick wall. But if you go ahead and you add Justin Simmons, that makes them the number one defensive back group in the National Football League. Bringing in Justin Simmons would absolutely transform this defense in a very, very good way. And even if it's only on a one- or two-year contract, that alone will help out the young players like a Kool-Aid McKinstry, like a Jordan Howden, and like some of these other younger guys. Even Elante Taylor 
could benefit from him. So I think Justin Simmons should be the next move that the New Orleans Saints make. And I'm waiting because once they make that move, if they make that move, we're going live and it's going to be a freaking party. So be sure to subscribe and turn on your noties. That special team, special players, special plays. Shout out to Sketch. Lou Headley, he is your starting punter. Matt Hayball was brought in as an undrafted free agent. Charlie Smith signed as a part of the International Pathway Program. He's a kicker from Ireland. He has a hell of a boot, but at minicamp, he's been struggling a little bit with accuracy. But Blake Groupie, he's your starting kicker. We saw him what he did last year. I'm hoping that he has a better year in this season. And Zach Wood, he's your long snapper. He ain't going anywhere. So what's a move that you want the New Orleans Saints to make? Or do you think that the roster is fine as it is? I want you to share your thoughts in the comment section. Let me know. Do you want to go trade for a player? Do you want to go sign an offensive lineman? Do you want to go and try and bring in a guy from the UFL? I want you guys to share your thoughts and let me know. And if you think the roster's fine, just say, hey, I think the roster's okay. Let's just go run it and let's go play some fucking football. All right, here we go, Saints fans. I hope you guys enjoyed today's show. Be sure to subscribe to the channel. If you guys want more daily videos around your black and gold, be sure to hit that big red sub button. Y'all stay golden. We'll see you next time.